Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time we're going to be playing a Xbox 360 game that I actually bought way back in the day when it first came out. And I remember being extremely disappointed with this one. This one was very, very hyped up as well. And being a massive like Sega nerd at the time, I was all over this, especially coming from um, the creator, Bizarre Creations. Uh, they also made like... Um, the Project Gotham games and I can't think of anything else but they made loads of good games in their time um, so the game we're looking at today is called The Club and I bought it for a pound I can't believe I actually paid full price £45 or whatever it was um, back in the day so it's an arcadey third person shooter I guess, but it's got kind of racing elements to it as well. Really strange sort of game. But it's one of those games, from what I can remember, which is solely based around endlessly repl uh, replaying the levels over and over and over again. And, you know, learning them inside out, learning where all the enemies are to get the most points. Um, I don't like that gameplay loop. I don't like doing the same endless thing over and over and over again. Uh, I very rarely play games through multiple times i generally just go through a game once if i really like it i might go through it again if i really really like it i might go through it again on a harder difficulty but those games as uh we go on are getting further and farther and fewer between um so it says on the back here kills earn scores scores bring success success means survival this is the mantra of the club, a secret network of corrupt businessmen and sick millionaires who fund a gamble upon the world's most lethal blood sport. Now the next victims are ready to fight. Take control of one of eight modern day gladiators and remember at all times, kill quickly because in the club, if you stand still, you're dead. Eight global locations, five single player modes, eight multiplayer modes. 49 single player challenges over 200 global leaderboards man global leaderboards that was like that was a selling point back in the day and 17 different weapons so yeah there was this was a, a very high profile release uh, i remember people being quite hyped i think um the general consensus when it came out is it was all right uh but yeah wasn't really my sort of thing but you know this came out in where's the copyright for this one this one must have been 2008 i believe as oh, so you see a copyright on the back of the box which is bizarrely unusual um yeah so must have been around 2006 7 or 8 i assume it was i'm pretty sure it was an early game um, yeah, very disappointed with it. But we've got some blurb here. The club is a third-person shooter game where you play as one of eight characters who are forced to compete in a deadly underground tournament controlled by a mysterious elite. You have to fight your way through various locations and modes, earning points for your kills and style. The game features a fast-paced arcade-like gameplay where speed and accuracy are rewarded. Some trivia for the game. Uh, the game was developed by Bizarre Creations, the same studio that made Project Gotham Racing Series and Geometry Wars. I enjoyed Geometry Wars. The game has a lot of references to other games and movies such as Half-Life, Resident Evil, Die Hard and The Running Man. The game has a secret character named Nemo who is a robot with a fishbowl for a head. He can only be unlocked by completing all of the tournaments on the hardest difficulty. Hey, guess who we're not seeing, I suppose. Yeah, interesting. Let's actually hop over to this. Because I'm very curious. Again, this seems to be like one of those games that has just been lost to history. Nobody seems to remember it. Um, and the only reason I even picked it back up, again, like I said, although I do like to collect my 360 games, but a pound. A fucking pound. It cannot be bad for a pound. Can it? Let's find out. Okay, so we've got the game installed and apparently somewhere in all this grim dark room that we're sitting in, there is a headset. 
like that and let's switch over shall we so they went proper like weird underground kind of with this game which you know let's have a look at some screenshots i remember this being visually quite a looker for the 360 i believe it was 60 fps as well let's go hopefully we can actually find out here where and where it came out Ah, uh, yes. Good old Sega. Bizarre creations. Ah, uh, they updated their logo a little bit there. Dragov. Killing. All right, sure. No female characters. That's interesting. All right. So, do I actually have any achievements for this game? Kind of curious because. Um, no, I don't. Okay, so this must have been like way, way back because I did actually create a couple of. Um, profiles this profile that I had now I didn't actually create until like 20 probably 09 I suppose so I went through a couple and I lost my accounts but you didn't really lose anything apart from some achievements because you couldn't buy games or anything like that so you know your, your gamer tags were kind of burner accounts really so let's go next saving complete so we've got tournament we've got options what sort of options do we have? Uh, gameplay. All right. So we can change colors, which is kind of unique. Controller audio. Can we have subtitles? Wow, you even get like home theater and surround sound kind of uh, choices here. That's, that's interesting. Should have been done on a system level, really, not per game. But hey, what do I know? All right, well, not a huge amount there. Extras, anything in extras? Sega Rally. Yeah, we don't need to see anything like that. So that's just upcoming titles, sure. Let's go, tournament. Select a character that suits your playing style. You will need to play them all to find your perfect club champion. So, he's very slow, but very strong. Lots of stamina. He's kind of very well balanced. High stakes gambler. Likes to ride his luck. Uh, a lot harder than uh, is good for him. Uh, Dragov, a uh, mountainously built Siberian hunter and the most wanted criminal in Russian history. Ooh, so he's obviously done some shit then. 
Uh, Renwick, a tough, no-nonsense NYPD detective of more than 30 years standing and one of the most decorated cops in the force. Suddenly hijacked, I suppose, and taken to the club. So we can't play as Killen yet. Killen is the club's favourite son, one of the game's rare survivors and holder of the competition's highest kill score. Kuru. Deep cover operative with a stolen identity, but is Kuru really who he says he is? I don't know. Probably not a great idea to have those cans around his neck. Siegler. You name it, Siegler's tried it. Extreme sports, Russian roulette, bare knuckle boxing, and more. Always on the edge. Now he's looking for the next high. And I don't know how... Adjo? Adjo, an African giant seeking redemption from his violent past. He looks fucking grisly. And then Nemo. The club's own dirty secret. Nemo is damaged goods. With his mind gone. The only, only the urge to kill is left. That's interesting. Apparently he's supposed to be a robot. Doesn't look like a robot to me. Right, well. Let's go for... You want someone that's fairly strong, I suppose. I guess strength is health. Maybe that's stamina. I don't know. Let's try Siegler. Or Seeger. Welcome to the club. I'm the club secretary, and you'll need to listen to what I say carefully if uh -huh. you want to survive. If you intend to stay alive in the club, then you'll need to make yourself familiar with the rules and know how to score big points. The basic kill score awarded for shooting an enemy is based on factors including enemy type, range, and hit location. Ow! The harder the shot and the tougher the enemy, the more points you will score for the kill. Combos are the key to high scores in the club. And the key to combos is your kill bar. After making your first kill, your kill bar will fill up. Make your next kill before this bar ticks down and you will increase both your combo and the points awarded for your kill. However, if you let your kill bar tick down, your combo will start draining away. You'll need to use Sprint to get to your next target as quickly as possible, so that you can keep increasing your combo. Play the game well, and you can keep your combo alive until the end of the challenge. Find and shoot skull shots hidden in the course to increase your combo, refresh your kill bar, and earn maximum points. Look out for places where you can perform moves such as barges, vaults, and dives. When you see the icon which tells you that you can perform the move, press the action button. The club rewards stylish kills, so performing a kill directly after an action move will give you more points. Aim mode and knowing when to use it will be key to scoring well. So, now you know the rules and the techniques, it's time to begin the tournament for real. All right. Yeah, I uh, kind of remember a bit of this, to be honest. Aim mode is key to playing well. Aiming zooms your view and increases your accuracy. Training mode. Oh, God. Well, that's going incredibly well so far. Oh, we've got to keep going. Keep... Oh, hello. S Weapon pick up. So where the fuck are we going? I assume through one of these doors. No. I will say visu ah, oh, I see. Visually the game is really nice. Not sure how we change weapons. Right. Okay. I got it. So I'm guessing we only have like limited amounts of ammo. Whoa. Limited amounts of ammo. Can't set those things off. Well, that was short. That was incredibly short. You win, but... Uh, what 
I mean, I'm guessing that was a shitty score. Two new gunplay weapons unlocked. Right. Right, let's try that again. Now we know roughly what we're doing. I say roughly. Right. There's another skull up there. All right. Keep that skill score multiplier going, I guess. All right, I don't think we really need a new weapon. Just seems to slow us down here. Uh, there's another skull. Oh, hello. Sneaky son of a bitch. Well, I mean, that's better, I guess. We went up from like 53 points to like over a quarter of a million. Much better accuracy as well. I mean, okay. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's, it feels a little bit better than I remember. All right, well, I, I didn't have an issue with how the game felt to play, in all fairness. I had an issue with how the game f just played out, really. Let's go. New to shooters for a semi-experienced shooters. For serious shooter fans only. All right, well, let's go reckless. Your first test will be in Schwarzfeld. An abandoned steel mill in the industrial heartland of Germany. Its cavernous halls and precarious iron gantries will be the perfect location for your first trial. All right. To succeed in this challenge, you must survive to the level exit and achieve the target score. Kill quickly and efficiently to achieve maximum score. To win this event, you must find the level exit and score as many points as possible. Right. Find and shoot skull shots. I mean, they've put a lot into this game, you know. I'm not trying to say this is an objectively bad game. It's just really not kind of my thing. So the top position, we need to make 1.2 million points. That seems a lot. Right. Fight your way to the exit. Oh. Oh. Well, we're doing well here. Destructible environments, which we like. Don't know how to reload. Oh, nice. He's done. Weapon pickup. Definitely going to have to twig how to get that reload going. He's done. Right, reloading is X. Got ya. Now we want to head down here. Skull shot. Skull shots do actually keep your combo going, which is nice to know. I think there's an enemy behind me as well. Right, let's go. Oh, we can go through secret area. Secret skull shot. Alright. I get the feeling this is the sort of game that would probably do well now. Oof. He's done. We've got plenty of health. Right. So can we... Oh, we can Right. Kick our way through there. Combo lost. Son of a bitch. So apparently he's invincible behind that um, very iffy looking fence. Got ya. Ooh, nice. Cool. We've got another weapon here. Which we will try. Can't go that way. Health kit. Whoa. Whoa. Everybody's exploding. Everybody's dying. I 
I'll take your word for it. Kind of hard to see the enemies, not going to lie. Penetrator. We like being called the Penetrator. Oh, we got all the skull shots. All right. I'm actually enjoying this, to be honest. But I know where this is going to fall down for me. Uh, it's going to fall down. Uh, because we are going to have to, like, to get the best, well, to get the most out of it, you're going to have to endlessly replay the game uh, and the levels over and over and over and over again. Memorizing where all the enemies are and stuff like that. Uh, you know, which I suppose that's the sort of game it is. To win this event, you must find the, yeah, and score as many points. I kind of get the feeling that I might enjoy it more these days. But I know it's going to wear very thin very quickly. Visually, this game is really nice, though. Surprisingly so. And the game does get you nice and pumped. Which is also cool. I guess we would have got some more points if we can... There we go. Take his ass out with that. I thought there was more skull shots. That combo meter really ticks down quickly. It doesn't give you much time to think. Which I guess is kind of the point, really. Oh, hello. So you don't lose your combo like straight away, which is nice. Uh, Rico Slay? What the hell does that mean? I don't know if there's any kind of like melee that we can engage in. Oh, that felt good. Rack them up. Oh, we're almost out of bullets. That's not fantastic. Come on. We need some enemies. Running out of enemies to kill is never great. Oh, evening, sir. Timing your reloads is going to be, like, incredibly important as well. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come to Papa. Oh, fuck. Got him on the hip fire. Combo's bleeding. Oh. Oh. I think penetrator is when you shoot him in the nuts. Secret area. Take that. And boom, baby. Plenty of health. You don't seem to get a lot of extra points for, like, accuracy and health and stuff like that. Combo of 12. I'm guessing, like, you're really going to want to push that combo as high as you can. Like, ridiculously so. Renwick just beasted that. So round two of six as well. So you really have to study the rounds like crazy. Survive until the timer runs out. You have been injected with a micro explosive. Uh oh. Outside of the coned off area for more than five seconds, and the explosive will detonate. Hey, that's the sort of. Um, gameplay style, those instant deaths that's going to really piss me off. But I'm having fun now. So, 1.4 million is the target to beat. Alright, so where's the coned off section? Oh, hello. Alright, I see. Well, a whole load of bullets for not a lot of success there. So I'm guessing we have to kind of stay up here. And we can dip out into the other areas for, say, ammo, health, that kind of stuff, I guess. We're really starting to take some shots now. 
So the hardest thing really is just to see where the enemies are. Because uh, they really aren't very well highlighted, which is probably, to be fair, by design. Alright. That'll do. We're starting to run out of ammo and health now. Son of a bitch. Come on. There's a hell of a lot of bullet rise here. Which is causing some issues. There we go. Right, we need more enemies to spawn. Oh, hello. That's uh, a little bit sneaky. And by a little bit sneaky, I mean extremely sneaky. Also, definitely running at 30 frames a second here, I think. Combo bleeding. Right, where are they? Where are they? Ooh. I don't know if you get extra points for blowing them up with uh, explosives. Can't tell. Oh, hello. Come on. Oh, son of a bitch. Whew. Actually, did pretty, pretty well. Shame we couldn't quite push a million. But happy with that. 26 enemies killed. 14 combo. Yeah, look at Renwick. He's just way out. He's just absolutely destroying us. Fourth. So I wonder what happens. Um, like when we finish the... Survive until the time runs out. Stay within the area uh, we've got another one of these. All right. Yeah, we know. We know. We know the rules, goddammit. So I'm guessing if we get outside of the... That we just die and it's game over. But what happens, like, if we don't win? I guess it's just... You know, if we don't get in the top three, maybe? I'm guessing we don't get any way of actually upgrading our character. Which would be fun. Oh, hello. Look at the blood splodge on the walls. That's actually quite nice, to be honest. Right, keep him coming. Where's the other guy? Are we... Are we... Oh, okay, we're actually... All right. Happy with that. So... Right, I see, I see. You're done. So if we step out here... No, we're still in the cones, apparently. Which is curious. Not really sure where our limit is here, then. So that's fine. Oh, I see. We found the limit. We found the limit, guys. Don't get a lot of time to think about what the fuck you're doing. That's for sure. Last bullet. Last bullet. Come on. Be nice if there was a quicker way of turning around, which actually, to be honest, there very well could be. Nope. Doesn't look like any of the usual clicking sticks or whatever seem to turn you around any quicker which is a shame we got him we got him all right let's get away nope don't want to destroy that oi stop slapping me like a fucking bitch we definitely need to sort our accuracy out i think 
Looks like health does respawn, which is nice. Destructible environments as well is something that, again, you really don't see much of. Got him. We got him. We got him. I also saw that. Got most of those now. Holy fuck nuggets. Alright, we're good. Everybody stay cool. Ho 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 ho. We're slaying, alright. We're slaying. Come on, reload. One more. Lovely. Can we get another one? Oh, we did. Just. Ooh, that was intense. Well done. So where did that put us? 50 kills, 19 combo. Be nice if they were like, oh, we actually won by a decent margin there as well. All right. Time attack. Let's go. Uh oh. Can he say time anymore? Laps around a preset course. Complete all laps to reach the exit. Don't let your timer run out, or the micro explosives you have been injected with will detonate. Yay! We like micro explosives. And so do they, apparently. Okay. So, 1.3 is the score to beat. Let's see if we can get close to it. So, you actually don't get a lot of points. Uh, a lot of time, I should say. So, that is just uh, nothing. Okay, we. I, I think we get points for killing enemies as well. We do. We actually do. Good to know. So, if we actually run out of time, I'm not sure. Really? I'm not sure how that affects us. I'm guessing we actually fail. Or do we just, like, end the level with whatever points we've got? Makes sense that it would just be a straight on failure. But we shall see, I'm sure. I can imagine some of these will get incredibly difficult. Still like reloading every frickin' shot. Are we going this way? What way are we going? I guess so. Oof. Oof. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Oh, right. We've got a lap count here. I see. That's fine. Man, these weapons are really inaccurate. Like, really inaccurate. But that's fine. That is fine. Hey, sir. Have some bullets. Ah, bless him. Open the door for me. Secret areas, I can imagine, are going to pretty much be everywhere. Imagine being some grunt mercenary, and you're just thrown into an area like this. And that's it. You're literally worth less than shit. To your like oh, mafia overlord boss that's got to make you feel pretty pretty low ah we're going the wrong way yeah we need to go that way terrible shot we are building horrendous amounts of time though so maybe the actual time limit isn't the 
issue that I thought it was. At least not here, anyway. Final lap. Let's go. My fucking god. Hitting the enemies is a is is not as easy as you'd think. Certainly nowhere near as easy as some look at that. Look at that. Alright. Going through. Evening. Is there someone behind us? Yeah. Oh, you fucking asshole. There we go. Detach his arm. Whoa, they're behind. There we go. Keep this party wagon moving. You know, I reckon... A sequel to this these days like even if they brought it out as some sort of like free to play sort of system where they could endlessly generate content for it I think this would have quite a big community you know I really do right lap count yeah because these timers seem to just regen which is fine There we go. Level complete. Hmm. I think we've got one level left and then that ends this. Still didn't get a great score. Really bad combo. Alright, well we came third. Massively uh, behind Renwick, of course. Yeah, we're in second, but... Way behind first. Final round. Fight your way to the arena exit before the timer runs out. If you run out of time, the micro explosives you uh -huh. are with will detonate. Alright. Same sort of deal that we've already had. It's kind of I can see it getting repetitive very quickly. And we're already getting the same sort of uh, objectives come through. We've got a shotgun, which... Oh, that's no good at all. Definitely don't want that. So, I guess we're just going to keep running forwards. We've got another weapon now. Come on, where are we going? Where are we going? We've got plenty of time. At least I think. I'm not sure how that penetrator thing works. Like, it... I don't think you can actually shoot through objects. But I might be wrong. It doesn't... Oh, that's no good. It doesn't feel like we can shoot through objects. Like, at all. Bloody hell, coming out of the woodwork. Where would they find all these goons from? Or am I thinking about it too much? Probably thinking about it too much. Like, getting a headshot with these weapons is... I feel more luck than anything else. 100% more luck than anything else. All right. Once you start losing that combo meter, you're kind of hosed. Jesus, hello. I don't know if we get any kind of explosive weapons. That could certainly be fun. Alright, we got a cool million. I get the feeling like a million is good. Oh, okay, so your final your final combo bonus actually I see. So that actually makes quite a difference at the end. 
again pushing you forwards uh, as quickly as possible. We came in third. All right. No, we came in second. Is that good? What do we get? Do we get executed for coming in second? Congratulations. We won a silver bullet. Well, that doesn't seem great. So we're just unlocking stuff for other modes. We're not actually like unlocking extra guns and things, I don't think. I mean, we've unlocked a new location. Right, so I guess as long as you place in the top three, you can go on to the next round. How many? Oh, man. There's a few. There's eight. Okay. All right. I mean, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I think I had more fun with it this time. However, I know obviously when I bought it, um, when it first came out, we played a lot more of it. I think my brother played it quite a lot and my then missus at the time quite got into it as well. But I don't think any of us actually finished it. And obviously none of us played it multiplayer or online because that wasn't really, you know, we, none of us were really interested in that sort of thing. Unless it was Halo, we weren't interested, yo. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're, if this is the sort of game that speaks to your, um, Kind of gameplay style the sort of thing that you like i mean for a quid i think you get a lot of uh, a lot out of this but for me personally uh it's kind of more of a curiosity than anything else anyway guys let me know what you think of this one so thank you very much for watching and as always till next time